Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise, if you're new here, welcome to our tribe. I hope that you will go and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any videos. And if you wanna be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and hit that little bell notification right next to the subscribe button as well. And today I decided that I needed to move this Christmas tree out of the corner. It's a little tight over there. I ended up wrapping a bunch of presents to get it out of the way and ready for Christmas. And then I realized that everything wasn't going to fit under our tree. And we're not even done with wrapping yet. And my parents are coming to town and I'm wrapping up their gifts for the kids and us as well. So I needed extra space, so I'm gonna move it over to by this window that's to the left right here today. So I'm getting everything back out from under the tree that I just put there. I'm going to undecorate it completely, take it apart myself, and then put it back together and redecorate it in the new spot. And I'm doing all this while my husband's at work. I think he thinks I'm a little nutty for redoing the Christmas tree again, but here we go. <laughs> So a few seconds ago, I showed you guys a gift I had wrapped and I drew a little star on it with a Sharpie. And this is such a cool idea. So instead of using gift tags, I saw this over on Brittany Boren Leach's channel here on YouTube. Um, you will make an answer key with symbols and names for gifts, draw the symbol on the box. And if this is not new to any of you, I'm so sorry, but I thought this was so cool. But you'll draw the symbol on the box depending on whose gift it is. And then on Christmas morning, you'll put an answer key in the kids' stockings. And I thought this was so cool because normally the kids are under the tree counting how many gifts they got. You know, everybody's fighting over who has how many. And my brother got more than me or my sister has more than me. That kind of thing. So this kind of just takes all of that away. And... I, I love it. Um, I'm so excited for this idea. I can't wait to do this. I am going to have to change Colton's because I am a dum-dum and yesterday I left out the answer key with my wrapping stuff and he did see it. So I'm going to go through today with the Sharpie and change it up. I was pretty disappointed last night. I'm not going to lie because like I said, I thought this idea was so cool and I think it'll avoid a lot of little fights. And then one more quick thing before I let you guys just enjoy the Christmas music and watch me undecorate and redecorate this tree. Um, I just wanted to say that in our house, and I want to know if it's different for you guys, leave me a comment down below. But in our house, we wrap all the presents that are from us and from grandma and grandpa. And then when Santa comes, he brings his gifts and he'll put whatever he can fit into their personalized Santa bags. And then if something doesn't fit, Santa just leaves it out. So let me know what you guys do in your house. Do you um, wrap all of your gifts or do you leave your gifts out? Does Santa wrap gifts when he brings them to your house? I always love to see, hear how other people do it and how Santa does it in other people's homes. So as I was fluffing the tree, I was also adjusting any ornaments that I had left in the inside part of the tree. And this just helps to fill in any gaps as well as adds a little bit of dimension. Like when you get up close to the tree, you see something shiny in there. It just has a little pretty pop of color. Another little tip for if you have a fake tree is to grab a throw blanket and wrap it around the base of the tree before you put your tree skirt on. It just gives it a little bit of extra volume. And if you wanted to get really fancy, you could buy batting from the fabric store and keep that in your Christmas stuff so that when you get your tree out each year, you know you have it for underneath your tree skirt. I just like to use a throw blanket. It's what works for us, but it just gives it extra volume and then you're not seeing any of the metal pieces from the stand.
This is the first year where I haven't actually wrapped the tree with ribbon where I cut the ribbon and place it in there and I have to say I really like how this comes out. It just it looks like it's woven into the tree but you're not using a ton of ribbon and it's not overwhelming. So once you get all of your ornaments and everything else into place it just it all kind of comes together and it's not too much it's just enough and it still gives you that pretty simple tree look. And because I moved the tree out from the corner, now I have to decorate the entire tree. So I needed to cut a little bit more ribbon. I was a little bit short on the ribbon so that I can make it all the way around the tree without noticing any bare spots. Okay guys, so this is our tree for this year. It is a little more bare than our typical Christmas tree, but that's just because we have a two-year-old in the house and he is touching all the ornaments. Here's one of those little ornaments inset in the tree that I was talking about earlier. And 
And also we put all of our fragile ornaments up towards the top. And that's part of the reason why our tree is so bare this year. I chose to keep a lot of ornaments in our bins in the garage instead of putting them out. I just didn't feel like having broken ornaments and dealing with that this Christmas. So hopefully we can get those out next year and our tree will be a little bit fuller. But for now, this works for us. We have all of the kids' ornaments that they've made at school over the years up in the top part of the tree. And then just these red and gold plastic ones scattered throughout because I'm not worried about those breaking. And that is it for the tree. All done. And I got all the gifts back underneath it. Thank goodness. They all fit now. And then I moved our toy bin from this little area where it dented the wall. I'll have to fix that over to the other side of the TV stand. And I think I'm gonna keep it over here actually. I like it out of the way. And then eventually I wanna put a blanket ladder over here, maybe this weekend if I can find one or I'll build one. But that is it guys, tree is all done. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one, bye.